This is a Space News update for April 18, 2008. In today's news, Ariane Space Tonight launched telecommunications satellites for Brazil and Vietnam on the 24th consecutive mission success of the Ariane 5 launch vehicle from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage. Décollage. The heavy lift Ariane 5 ECA deployed Star 1, C2, and Venusat 1 into geostationary transfer orbit during a 31 minute mission, which began with an on time liftoff from the spaceport's ALA-3 launch zone at 7.17 p.m. local time. This is the second of a record-setting seven flights planned in 2008 for the workhorse Ariane 5 as Ariane Space delivers on its services and solutions commitment to the company's international customers. During tonight's flight, Star 1 C2 rode as the upper passenger in Ariane 5's payload stack and was deployed approximately 26 minutes after liftoff. Built by Europe's Thales Alenia Space, the 4100 kilogram spacecraft will be used by Brazilian telecommunications operator Star 1. It carries a payload of 28 C-band transponders, 16 KU-band transponders, and one X-band transponder and will provide telecommunications, multimedia, and internet services over South America from an orbital position of 70 degrees west. Venusat-1 was the lower passenger on the Ariane 5, with this deployment occurring 31 minutes into the mission. Manufactured in the United States by Lockheed Martin Commercial Space Systems, it will become Vietnam's first telecommunications satellite, operated by the Vietnam Post and Telecommunications Group. The 2600 kilogram Venusat-1 is configured with a payload of 12 KU band and 8 C band transponders for radio, television and telephone transmission services over all of Vietnam and the Asia Pacific region. Its final geostationary orbit position will be 132 degrees east. The next Ariane 5 will be launched on May 23rd when an Ariane 5 ECA will orbit the dual passenger payload of the United Kingdom's Skynet 5C secure military communications satellite and the Turksat 3A spacecraft for Turkey. And this has been a daily space news update. To watch archived podcasts, please visit our website at www.dailyspaceupdate.com. And for more space news on the Ariane 5 launch and more, please visit the Spacearium at www.spacearium.com or spaceflightnews.net. And don't forget to tune in to our next podcast. Thank you for watching the Daily Space Update.